All right, mate. Let's look here. Or and or raising channel daily weekly looks like it could fall off it. Uh, I agree. Um, does look like it, it can fall off it at this point, uh, just from that quick look anyway, at least. But uh, we will look into this further. Nicely projected channel, uh, you know, from the top, kind of ex extrapolated down to the lows, down to the bottom. Um, so, like when I see this situation here, um, and you see the white 100 breaking and all that, um, I do automatically, not automatically, but I, I start to think that down here is possible on a pierce of the moving averages or a drop into the moving averages somewhere somewhere down here. Maybe it doesn't have to go below them, but um, you know a, a retest of the moving averages. We're failing at the white 100 in a strong trend. The white 100 shouldn't fail in the first place. Uh, of course it can, and, and you know. But I'm just saying the 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 market, you know, it is showing some sort of weakness. Is this a bear flag? Is that a bear flag that wants to go lower to to come down? It is something that we got to keep an eye on. Um, but let's look at some other time frames here just to see what uh, what we're getting. It is a strange monthly, to be fair. Um, but this this is a topping candle, right? This there's no question about it. This is a potential topping candle here. So what it's kind of saying is that there is a there is a chance, there is a, a reasonable chance that this can stay red and even get more red and drop further down pretend that that's red there uh, so it, it is kind of suggesting that that is a real possibility now let's just look at the three month here now the three month yeah that's uh, mm, yeah it's an interesting one there the problem is that there's way too long to go yet to really fully assess the magnitude of this uh, because there's uh, two months and 21 days left uh, if we close like this on a new three month, if we close like this uh, in two, uh, well, basically in three months time, uh, then this could technically be bullish and, and this could get continuation, right? But we're a long way from, from that closing right there. Uh, that's, that's, you know, it's a, an entire candle away from that. But that's not a bad setup, okay, if, if, if that does hold. This can be bullish, bullish wicks in an uptrend you get consolidation, which can lead to bullish consolidation and then move higher. But at this point, I do not see that situation happening. Um, I, I Sorry, I, I said that wrong. Uh, I don't even want to think about that situation because we are too far away. In the near term, we are green on, sorry, we are red. My head's away with it today. We are red on the three month candle. Uh, you know, as long as we are red, we've already taken liquidity. And if you actually notice here as well, there's already a bit of a, uh, technically it's a bearish stop hunt. Now, a lot of people don't really look at those, but y you know, there is, um, it's stop hunting that previous level, the previous high, and that happens quite often. So, y you know, we have taken some sort of liquidity up here and uh, you know, we are red now. So as long as we are red, we got to be careful and, and the, you know the ball is in the bear's court at the moment now when we look at this six month candle you can see what's happened we have taken liquidity in the six month wick now is it enough i would have preferred to go higher and take more of it but it is what it is at this point you know we we are we have now flipped red on the six month uh it's very 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 possible that we are getting a six month red candle all right and then and that could drop down to somewhere here um you know, so the ball is in the bear's court here. Uh, if I if I just do that, and and the reason I drew it there down that far, is because it is into this level here, and it's probably a reasonable Fibonacci retrace level. Right? Uh, we can we can look at it very very quickly. It's that's a pierce of the sixty one percent right down in there. You know, so it's uh, that that's not a bad level. If I look here on the daily, computer's running a bit slow here. It must be uh, maybe my scan's running. You can kind of see what that is actually. Look at that. That that is in a, uh, below these moving averages that I kind of talked about earlier. You know, when I, as I said, I, I kind of start to feel like we can drop down to these moving average below the pierce of these moving averages when you get this sort of situation. Now we did talk about and mention earlier in the year that dips on RNDR could be very very good buying opportunities. Um, like a dip back into this white 100 moving average, for example. 
Um, I need to go back and look at old posts, but uh, I, I think that this is what we talked about. Like, I mean, this is one of the stronger coins in the entire market. So it does suggest that, uh, you know, dips down into here to create a higher low than here. Didn't draw it very straight, but a higher low than there. So it dips down into this sort of level here could actually be leading into, now I don't know if I drew that right earlier, maybe it's too long, but that could also be leading into the next leg higher. So I do think that you're probably right in the fact that the the rising channel is going to break. Um, there's a, just too much liquidity down here. The market is probably not bullish enough to enable this to be barting back up off that level, I don't think. Um, the, it, you can see the bear flag here even better on these higher time frames. Um, not that they always have to play out, they don't. Here's a bit of a bear flag there as well. You know, you can kind of, mm, you know, somewhere there and eventually it breaks down. There is two spikes up here in a way. You could say there's three spikes up really if you, if you counted that one, but, but eventually the bear flag broke to the downside. This is a miniature type pattern as well. Is there one more bounce off this level before it actually breaks? That is something left to, to be determined. Um, but it is possible. See, it already had the second wick here. Is that second wick enough to take liquidity here before it rolls over? Or does it need to bounce off the support level to, to take liquidity one more time before rolling over? That's something we need to keep an eye on. I would suggest though that this will eventually go lower and down in here to take, uh, to, well, to, to fill more of that large green candle in the, the six month candle, to probably come back to create a higher low you know, even in uptrends, you know, you want to, you want the market to come back to create higher lows. This is the last micro, macro low. This is the last macro low here. The, the, it actually coincides here with the resistance. You know, so previous resistance has become support, as we can see here. So we could come down there and form, you know, a higher level again than here. I would suggest, which will be the rising uh, white 100 moving average. Uh, yeah, that, that one's kind of obsolete there. And, you know, e even if this does bounce here, I think that we we drop down to this white 100. That'll create a higher low than here. Uh, that then that can be kind of rising, um, rising lows, and this could probably then run from there, maybe to new highs. For now, I don't really like buying this here, unless we can kind of get a, a, a proper rejection. I mean, that rejection might have already happened. Um, I, you know, it, it could have already happened, right? There, there's an element to this. Uh, in bear trends, these love to roll over and go to new lows, okay? But if if the trend is strong enough and the market's going to overall bounce, this has a has a chance of bouncing here back up. Uh, so I would watch that on a new 3D. Overall, eventually, I think it's going lower though, but there can be liquidity grabs before it goes lower. So I don't think, you know, if you're looking to accumulate for the bull market, I think if you have patience, you'll be able to buy this lower. But this support right here, this stop hunt at this level here, there's a chance on a new three day that this might attempt to, to run to the upside short term before rolling over. Um, you know, I would expect that to roll over again after that, even if we do bounce. Uh, this actually, this, this situation here reminds me of ETH BTC at the moment. You get that move and you kind of get this rounding pattern, okay? Now it's a two week chart on ETH BTC. You can see this rounding natured pattern, but it looks like it wants to break down. It also, if you look back here, see this, this is what I'm talking about for um, uh, RNDR. See the way it got back into support and you get that one last pump, right? And then you get the flush, right? So we are right here on RNDR. Uh, the question is, do we get that last pump? So, so yeah. Uh, a new three day is, a, is an important time for RNDR to see if we can get that move up before eventually rolling over again. Mm -hmm.